Yo! What up, people? It's your boy, Cardboard Moses. It is time to do yet another break. We're going to be doing 2018? Yeah, 2018 Donner's Baseball, half case break number... That's two. That's the number two. Uh, eBay style. So uh, let me let me do that now. So if you're in this break, let yourself be known, so that I may hit you, greatness. But but I need you. I need you. To, I need you to make your request. Call your shot. Call your shot, people. We're looking at three autos or relics per box in this. Let me uh, shoot a quick text off one time for the one time. You know what I'm saying? See if I can hit this booty call right quick. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? No, nobody wants to come through and uh, make their confessions to the Cardboard Moses? All right, that's cool. So I'm just going to hit blindly here. And, of course, I want to see greatness. So I want to see an Otani. Like, <laughs> let's just let's just be honest. Let's just, be, let's just keep it G. All right, here we go. Well, I can't hit that one, choking chickens. I mean, I mean, come on now, come on. Now. Something that's in the checklist. Get down on it. Are they really? That's not even cool, man. That stuff doesn't even come out till tomorrow. I know choking chickens. I'm, I'm choking your chicken. All right, let's see what we got here. We're looking at three autos or relics per box. So it doesn't necessarily mean we're going to hit three autos in a box. It means we can hit any combination of that. Either one auto, two relics, which is honestly what it's been averaging per box. Or it could be two autos and a relic. Or it could even be three autos, or it could be all relics. Ah, that is true, Ra Ra. You got me there. You got me on that one. You got me on that one. Well, I mean, well, actually, it's still, yeah, it's still the eighth in California. Wow. Is that the link, Tomas? Let me see this shit. And he put that up earlier today, I'm assuming. Whoever that is. How do you get his hands on that? Hmm. Curious. Because he has a few of that stuff up there. That is, huh. That is, uh, curious, curious. Q re us.
That's what I'm thinking too. Like, is it legit? Cause he has a few of them. Maybe he, maybe he, he found them. He, he got himself a box. I don't know. I don't know, man. Really good Photoshop on a dummy card, right? Could be. Get your back up off the wall. Alright, we'll see what we got here. Hey, the dummy card. Speaking of dummy cards. Alright, so to 292, Mookie Betts, Red Sox. Yo, I can't talk right now, bro. I'm at work. Text me. Sorry about that. It's a 999. Jake McCarthy, US of A. Bottom. What do we got? It's a nine 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 Bryce Harper Nationals. I already see three teams gone in the contenders uh inner. The Chiefs, the Lions, and the Vikings are gone. To 149, Mike Trout. Angels in the outfield. Mookie Betts to 189. Red Sox. Rockies, Jeff Hoffman. Rymel Tapia, also for the Rockies, with a patch. See, already there are two relics, which means we're probably going to get one auto out of here. Wow. Three patches, all for the Rockies. Antonio Sensatella right there with a napkin. What do we have here? To 25 Adam Jones Orioles. Little gold action. 1099, George Springer, Astros. To 268, Max Scherzer, Nationals. To 999, Chris Sale, Red Sox. The Lonzo 101 already being sold? Wow. You got a link for that? What the heck? What the heck is this? Yo, that's dope as fuck. There's an autograph on the back for Ricky Henderson of the A's. And a Lou Brock autograph on the front for the for the Cardinals. Lou Brock to 49 and Ricky Henderson. That's cool as hell. I've never seen anything like that. That's really cool. 
But that's going to suck. Someone's going to lose that on the random. Nice. Let me click on this thing. Dang. Already selling it for 7 G's. Craziness. Craziness. Really, Raw Roth, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I, you know, I'm used to having two signatures on like on one side of the card, but not on the front and the back. That's kind of, it's kind of cool. So technically, there are two autographs and three patches in that box. Technically. I see a patch up there already. To 305, Corey Seager, Dodgers. Uh, well, Mike, I already posted the inner case break. As opposed to the master case, I put the inner case, which is a 10 box break of optic. And literally half the prizes for all of it. Since it's, you know, an inner case. Three teams gone already. Chiefs, Lions, Vikings, last I checked, were already bought up in the inner. Uh, I just checked Jets also gone in the inner. Uh, it's a 25, two-color. Thank you, Fitz. Two-color patch here for Alex Dickerson. Oh, I don't, I don't have, I, I didn't put up a master break. I put it up as an inner case. Uh, to, to make it a little less hurtful on the pockets. The whammy for Rice Hoskins. That's pretty cool. I think that's like one per case or something. That's dope. That is cool as fuck. Whammy for Rice Hoskins.
what's here. Number to 999, Mookie Betts, Red Sox. For the Orioles, Austin Hayes, the autograph. Nice. To 999, Paul Goldschmidt of the D backs. The fuck? Benny Baseball. That's Ben Intendi. First name Andrew. For the Red Sox to 99. Oh boy. It's a patch for Shohei Otani of the Angels. A little napkin sauce on that. There you go. So I did hit an Otani, but I want ink on that thing, man. What do we got? What do we got? To 353, we got J.A. Happ of the Blue Jays. What else we got? Number to 99, Jose Batista. Of the Blue Jays. To 99. Gold for Aaron Judge. Yankees. I wonder what the Yankees are going to look like this year with that monster team they got. Is Aaron Judge going to have a sophomore slump? Or what about Bellinger for that matter? John Lamb of the Angels. I'm actually looking forward to baseball season this year. Uh, for the first time in a long time, I'm actually going to watch the Marlins. I'm interested to see what they're going to look like with all the changes uh, Jeter made. To 249, a Aaron Judge, the long ball, because chicks dig the long ball for the Yankees. All right, let's put this to the side here. I did hit an Otani, but it was a patch, a napkin on it. So let's see. The let me check the store. So Falcons gone. Jets gone. Chiefs gone. Lions, gone, and the Vikings are also gone. So, yep, 27 teams left. Very nice. Very nice. 
Vic incoming, baby. You gotta call your shot. You gotta call your shot. You think so? I mean, look at it, uh, Jason. It's just a base patch. I'm sure. I'm sure it'll go for maybe five bucks. I don't know. $75? Yeah, the fuck right, Jason. Show me a sold listing that went for that, and I'll believe you. Uh, yes, Jason. This is the Donruss half case number two. Correct. my bitmoji shit oh there it is i love sending hoes bitmoji bitmoji you can't do that on fucking androids do cool shit like bitmoji Let me see. Click on this link. Yeah, that link has been... The listing has been removed. Post another link. Remember, Jason, I like sold listings. I've learned a lot about eBay ever since I started, you know... Oh, yeah? Is that is that how you feel? Is that how you feel, Tomas? I mean, I, I got a plethora of ones to choose from. Whatever. That's whatever, dog. I could have hit you with any of those. I fucking love Bitmoji. It's, it's overpriced, but I think it's worth the price, man. Seriously, like... I mean, listen. To each their own. If you, if you fucks with the Android, cool. If you don't, that's cool, too. Personally, I've, I've had both, man. I've had an Android phone. This was my first ever iPhone, actually. I'm still finding shit out on this phone that I don't that I know about. Um, but as far as the Android, like Android's cool. I like the fact that it's kind of it's pretty much a Windows computer. You know, I could I could fuck around with the code if I felt like it and bullshit like that. But I don't know, man. A Android for me was just not. Not what I needed. I like Apple. Yes, it's overpriced, but you get what you pay for in life. And I've never had a problem with my iPhone. Uh, and with Apple in general, any any time... I mean, yes, I agree. Android does limit you. I mean, Apple does limit you. As far as, like, your storage on your phone and things like that. You can't, you, can't, you know, have access to your battery and shit like that. You know, I, I get it. I get it. But I don't need to do all that. I, I, you know what I mean? Like, I don't... I'm not a programmer. I'm not a fucking geek. I'm not going to fucking take apart my phone and... You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not going to do all that. I just want a phone that works. And for me, the iPhone just works. Android, for me, would just crash all the time. You know, I had this problem with one phone where it just kept turning on and off, 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 on and off. And it would say... It, 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 you know what I mean? Like, just... Way too many problems I've had with the Android. And ever since I've been with the app with iPhone, I've honestly never had an issue. Never. 
The only issue I can say is sometimes my porn doesn't load up as quickly as I would like. And that's because I'm in a bad service area. So that's not really the iPhone's fault. But Android's cool. Don't get me wrong. Android has a lot of cool features. You know, I like I like the the dual screen things you can do on the the Android. You know, run two apps at once and blah blah blah. But you know, I don't need to do all that really. Uh, that was a Padre patch, Colin Ray, Jose Altuve to nine 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 Astros. Lindor to 278 Indians. You know, there are times I do miss my Android because I, I used to, dude, I had my Android pimped out. You know, I had it to where, like, it didn't even look like an Android. Tomasi, well, I'm, you know, you know, you know how I do, man. I'm here, dog. So if, if it fills, I'm ripping it straight up. Or, think about this one, Tomas. Or you could buy a team in the Donruss PYT and have a shot at a box. Because I'm giving away a box in that, too. To 324, Willie Calhoun, Rangers. To 99, Joey Votto, Reds. I'm just trying to fill the full case, Tomas. Don't don't pay me no mind. Do what you do, dog. I want to kill the heritage too. You know, you would think with the box giveaway, it'd, it'd fill a little quicker. Paul Goldschmidt to 249 for the D-backs. For the Giants, Reyes Moronta. Very nice. For the Braves, Max Fried to ninety nine. This is the last eBay break. I mean, technically, I was supposed to do select at midnight, but you know how that goes. I'll do that one tomorrow at 6 o'clock. The select that was supposed to go last night is going to happen tomorrow at 5. And tonight's select is going to happen tomorrow at 6. And the store break that we filled, PYT1, that's going to go uh, pretty much as soon as I get in. For the Orioles to 105, Jonathan Shoop. Tim Kate to 349. To 295, Barry Larkin. Reds Patch for the Astros Alex Bregman For the Angels, there we go, Shohei Otani with the Mound Marvels insert. It's pretty sweet. Boom. I wonder what that Otani will go for just as an insert. an Otani patch and an insert it might I don't know might see an autograph might see an autograph but 
Damn, Tomas, I, I forgot that you had hit that Aaron Judge in that Donruss box. In that Donruss box, that was that was insane. An insert sold for fifty bucks. How, what was it numbered to? Was it the same one, the the Mount Marvel? I got 18 people watching on YouTube and only one of them is chatting? What the fuck is up with that? Stop sitting on your hands, guys. You could do that later. It's numbered uh, 165 out of 349, Tomas. I can't wait till we get these new chairs in. Because my ass has been numb. Forty-three bucks for that? That's not bad, I guess. For an insert? Shit. Fifty for the one ninety-nine. Got it. Oh, so, not much difference between the three forty-nine and the one ninety-nine. What about an Otani, an Otani base auto in this? What, what would it go for? Oh, that's true, Rara. That is true. Because my, because my pockets will be so fat that my ass won't be sitting on the chair no more. It'll, it'll, I'll, I'll be sitting on my pockets. For a base autograph, Tomas? Holy fuck. Was it a rated rookie? I hate when they put cards like all facing different directions. John Lamb of the Angels with a patch. Number to 999, Corey Kluber, Indians with Dominator. Donners has like really cool inserts, dude. It's just that licensing really kills them. And the base set, really. So 342, Astros, Bregman. The 239, Jacob DeGrom, Mets. Let me click on this thing. Oh, well, that's that's for the Heritage one, though. I, I meant in the Donruss, Tomas. No, I, I, I knew that for Heritage, it, it was up there. That, that, I was not surprised. That, I'm not surprised for that one. I'm curious to know what it's going for in Donruss, though. For the A's, Frankie Montas, the patch. Guys, I got a full case of this in the store. RipCityCards.com. Get your teams. 
I'm giving away a box to someone in the break. All you have to do is buy in and you're in for the giveaway. Anthony Rizzo of the Cubs to 199. Come on, you guys. Let's fill the full case, sir. Number to 251, Nationals, Ryan Zimmerman. Check out our website, ribcitycards.com. That's where the full case is at. And if you've never made a website uh, website purchase, you can save $15 by registering for an account. To 149, Justin Verlander, Astros. To 199, Luis Severino, Yankees. To 249, Corey Seager, Dodgers. We got nice 10 out of 10 autograph for Alex Bregman of the Astros. That is nice. Really, Tomas? Wow. So even even in a different product, which a technically a lesser product, it's still selling for that much. Wow. That's that is nice. Got these cards that we need to random. The American Gianluca Dalatri to 149. I haven't been separating them like a Jackie. So let me put those aside. There's one. You know, we're not we're not selling the uh, the USA spot. We're we're straight up randoming those things. Let me go through it again, make sure I didn't miss one. Doesn't look like it. Nope. Twenty. Well, twenty-two. You're 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 the twenty-third, but at least you have one hand free to chat while the other one's busy. I don't understand why other people can't do the same. They just they use me and abuse me, Tomas. They use me and abuse me as all, well. and then they sit home and they wonder why they don't get any hits. Because they don't communicate, they don't, you know, they don't do anything. They just, they just sit there. They sit there and watch like, like some creepers. Whoa, Breaker Addiction's here. There you go. Spurs and the Warriors, are they, oh, well, what is it, what's today, Thursday? So that's probably on TNT, so I can't, well, I can watch it, but, you know. Breaker, I mean, there's, there's plenty of people, there are plenty of people watching, but nobody's talking. Now, now, randomly, Breaker and Rara were like, all right, I'm going to, I'm going to chime in real quick. And Rara, you're you're tr you're correct. You are correct. Yeah, I'm surprised there's not like a little league break. Ugh. Gosh, those new chairs can't get in here quick enough for reals. Uh, well, VJ Select Basketball does not release until tomorrow. So I will not be breaking that tonight, unfortunately. VJ, I'm going to send emails to everybody in the break. And I'm going to give them a break time for tomorrow. 
Uh, it's going to happen tomorrow at 6 o'clock, VJ. I don't have the cases because they don't release until tomorrow. So, VJ, be on the lookout for that email, dude. I, I apologize for the inconvenience. Believe me when I tell you, I wish I could rip some select tonight, dude. That stuff looks so fire. But, yeah, man, I will break it tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern Time. That's 6 p.m. Eastern Time tomorrow, which is Friday. Uh, I will, like, again, I will email everyone in the break and uh, let them know their break time and, and, and all that. I appreciate you, VJ. Thank you for joining our breaks, dude. I really appreciate you. Thank you for being super understanding and cool about it. And uh, not to mention, we also have breaks on our website, ripcitycards.com. If you're interesting, if you're interested, check us out. If you like what you see, you can uh, save fifteen dollars on your first website purchase. All you got to do is register for an account, and we will automatically email you the code. Do keep in mind that fifteen dollar off code only works for our website. What up, Jason? I'm assuming you have the Astros. Am I am I correct in assuming that? If so, you can buy the Astros in a full case break of Donruss baseball. Guys, I got a full case break at my on my website, ripcitycars.com. Check it out, y'all. Here's the website. Register for an account. Save yourself 15 bucks. Check this out. I got a full case break. I also have personal boxes. I got 19 teams left in a full case break of Donruss. Register for an account. You can save 15 bucks. I got all these teams still available. Once all these teams sell out, I'm going to break it. And I'm going to give away a box to someone in this break. But the only way to get in it is to get a team. All right, let's continue this eBay break. We're halfway through. This is box number five. If you're uh, keeping count, well, that's my job. What is this? For the Rays, Daniel Robertson, the patch autograph. Not numbered, but there you go. Get in it to get in it, right? Yeah, I be mumbling my words sometimes. Yeah, I, 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 I think I try to I try to match my words with how quickly I, I think, but you know, that's impossible. Nick Williams to three thirty eight Phillies. And Otani autograph would just be insane. A Aaron Judge to 270 for the Yankees. He also has autographs in this. That would be pretty nice. That would be pretty nice. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it, Tomas? Wouldn't it? Max Scherzer to 249 Nationals. For the Phillies, J.P. Crawford. The autograph. Congrats, Jason. Congrats. Check out our website breaks too, man. Ripcitycards.com. That's where the that's where the real cool kids are at. You want to be a cool kid, don't you? Anyways, let's see what else we got. I got personal boxes of this stuff available. All right, you know what? They don't care. They're on eBay. They don't care. Uh, what else we got? Yeah, one out of twenty-five. I mean, what what are the odds of that? Especially when you just bought, like just pick up two two boxes and hit one of them. Like what? Ridiculous. Just just crazy. It's it's amazing what happens when you put a little faith into anything. Miguel Sano, the Twins, two color patch. To three forty-nine, Cody Bellinger, Dodgers.
of the Giants to 49, Buster Posey. The American Pride, Connor Pilkington. That's number to 999. Then he's a good random. The good old US of A. For the Nationals to 322, Daniel Murphy. You know, I just checked the store and I haven't seen a single thing picked up. Contenders, football still at 27. The second case of select is at uh, 19. Heritage Baseball also at 19. Donruss PYT also at 19. Come on, y'all. To 999, Jose Altuve Astros. Anthony Rizzo to 199 Cubs. Take a little sip of this water. Computer trying to install an update right now. I'm glad I seen it. Because that would have been a fucking problem. So this breaks take some time to do. I'm not even, I'm not even like close well I'm close to being done I got three boxes left but it's already been an hour about to be an hour jeez imagine what a full case will take me to 189 Ian Hap Cubs but think about all the hits you could get in a full case of this 16 boxes of straight mojo oh how could you how could you pass that up? How could you pass that up? Brett Phillips of the Brewers, patch to ninety-nine. Boom. Oh, breaker addiction. I am your source when it comes to basketball. I'm telling you right now, of the remaining teams. The Heat, do not sleep on the Heat. Bam Adebayo is gonna be a stud. He is a stud, but people don't people don't people don't know that yet. Uh, the Celtics are the biggest team remaining, and that goes without saying. Jason Tatum, the second overall pick in the draft. The kid's having a, a ridiculous season. This the draft class honestly is is as good as it has been in a long long time. You know, people are comparing this draft class to the 84 draft class with, you know, Michael Jordan and them boys. To the 97 draft class with, you know, Kobe and them boys. The 03 draft class with LeBron and the boys. And now they're talking about the 17 draft class. Jason Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Lonzo Ball, Kyle Kuzma, John Collins, uh, fucking Jared Allen, Bam Adebayo. Uh, what's another one? I'm missing one. My boy from the Mavericks, uh, Dennis Smith Jr., uh, the, the kids out there with the Kings, De'Aaron Fox, Josh Jackson with the Suns is starting to turn it on. Like, it's a ridiculous draft class. Every team has a really good rookie. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that. Markinen with the Bulls, I forgot about him. Like, there's just so many rookies, honestly. Every team has a good one. Name a team and I'll tell you a good one. The Grizzlies, Ivan Rab. And that other kid, Dylan. Dylan Peters or whatever his name is. That kid's nice. Uh, another random team. The Thunder. Terrence Ferguson, solid rookie. Putting in solid numbers. Even the fucking Warriors got a decent rookie. Uh, what's that kid's name? It's not. Is it Damian Jones? I think it might be Damian Jones. Even they got a fucking good rookie. The, the defending world champion Warriors who, de, who shouldn't even have a rookie. They got one that's good. Bell, there it is. Bell, Bell. Forgot about that. Yeah. 
Is it Josh Bell or I forget his first name? The Hornets got a couple good rookies. Dwayne Bacon, Malik Monk, who's been kind of uh, but he's going to turn it on. The Magic, Jonathan Isaac is nice. That kid, like he, that kid's going to be a problem. B Jordan Bell, there it is. I, I, I knew it was something with a J. I just couldn't figure it out. Jonathan Isaac is nice out there with the Magic. Nobody's talking about him, but the kid is solid, and he's going to be a beast. Oh, and not to mention that most of these rookies are only 19, 20 years old. You know what I mean? And they're only going to get better. Some of these kids might even get taller. Raptors got OG and Anobi. The Blazers got a couple good rookies. Zach Collins is nice. Three quick ones. The Heat, the Knicks, I, well, and this is without eating. With, I'm just going off the the rookies. No, the Knicks have no. The Knicks have good good ones. Frank Nilakina. Do not sleep on Frank Nilakina. Pistons have Luke Kennard. Pacers got T.J. Leaf. Off naming quick two quick ones for you, Tomas. For sure, the Heat. Bam Adebayo is gonna be a fucking stud. That's one. Without looking at the checklist, I mean, obviously the the Celtics, Jason Tatum. I mean, no more need be said there. Um. And off my my own personal opinion of the remaining teams, I would I, I would say uh, it's kind of difficult without looking at the checklist, really. I'm just going off the, the, the rookies. The Knicks and the Heat, man. The Knicks and the Heat stand out to me. If LeBron goes to Portland, it's an instant championship? No. No, it's not. They don't have uh they don't have a big man down there. Who's who's their who's their big man? I can't think of one. Well they have Caleb Swanigan, who's a good rookie with the Blazers. But he's a rookie. They got Zach Collins. They got two big boys there, but they're rookies. Uh, LeBron to Portland? No. There would not be a championship. The only way LeBron can get a championship on the West Coast is if he plays for the Warriors. Or the Rockets. He's not going to win with the Lakers, so they can get that out of their mind right now. Lakers are way too young. Don't have enough shooters. No low post presence. They, they, they need at least a big man to rebound and, and hold the paint down and someone for LeBron to drive and kick to. That's that's the guy's bread and butter. And I dude, Frank Nilakina is a very nice point guard. He reminds me of like Rajon Rondo. And people got to keep in mind, that kid's like 18, 19 years old. Got to random this. Two different. Uh... Hey, that's when Gary was with, with, yeah, when he was with the Marlins. Nice. That's my dude right there. That used to be like my favorite baseball player when I was growing up. And I actually pay, played baseball, I played peewee. Or no, what was it? Pony League or whatever the fuck. There's a Walt Frazier autograph in there. Only a Hall of Famer. Only a Hall of Famer. Mind you, I haven't I haven't even I haven't even looked at the checklist. I just went off of instinct. Corey Seeger to 999 Dodgers. Manny Machado to 99, Orioles. 
What's that checklist looking like, Holt Tomas? Got a random that. San Diego chicken. I, I gave his autograph away to somebody. I can't remember who I gave it to, but I, I mailed that out already. Too bad I can't get that Supreme hardcore, hardcore or whatever. That would have been awesome. Let me take a quick gander at this uh, checklist here. Let me see the Blazers. Swanigan. Muc CJ McCullum? Uh, Damian Lillard? Oh, dude. Blazers. Blazers. Zach Collins, solid rookie. Caleb Swanigan, also solid. And CJ McCullum and two different Damian Lillard autos? Oh, fuck. Trailblazers. Fucking get them boys. 39 bucks? Dude, you hit you a Dame Lillard? That's got to sell for at least 50 bucks. I'm, you know what? I'm going to get too invested in that checklist. Let me finish this. Uh, Jason, I'll do that, dude. But you, you and I both know it's not going to go anywhere. So why don't you just pick up a few teams, man? Just pick up a few teams. Why do we go through this all the time, Jason? Why? Why? Kyle Waldrop, Mariners. Uh, no, Ro uh, Rolando. Select Basketball does not release until tomorrow. They did not announce that until Monday of this week. By that point, it was too late for us to put the listings out, or down, I should say. But we will break it tomorrow. I'm going to email everyone in the break. And it's going to break tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I apologize for the inconvenience, Rolando. To 488, Mookie Betts, Red Sox. Damn, they got the Blazers got Dame Dalla and CJ McCollum models. Nice. Paul Goldschmidt, Arizona. Thank you for understanding, Rolando. I appreciate that, man. Like I said, it's going to break tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I'm going to email everyone regardless, but just a heads up so you know what's up. So if anyone else is in here waiting for the select break, I hate to break it to you. Product does not release until tomorrow. And I will be breaking it tomorrow. Got a random that. Why do they keep doing this to me? Seriously. To 349 Max Scherzer, Nationals. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna put without looking at any other teams to us, I'm gonna put the Blazers on that list. What about the you know what? Are the yeah, the Heat are still available. The Heat have Bama de Bayo. Justice Winslow, Dwayne Wade, and LeBron Relics. Eh. I mean, I like Bam Adebayo, but he only has one. To 199, Robbie Ray, Diamondbacks. Well, the Heat do have LeBron and D-Wade uh, Relics. Now, there is that one-of-one one LeBron insert in there. That'll probably go for some stupid money. So I'm gonna leave the heat on there because there's also Dwayne Wade in there too. It could be a you know the the LeBron and the Dwayne Wade one on one relics would probably be sick as fuck. And Bam Adebayo is gonna be a fucking stud. Calling that Gallo Rangers to 149. So I'd, I'd probably leave the Heat also on my on my on my two two teams. So I got 
I'm going to go Blazers and Heat so far. And I'm going to look into a third team. Aussie, Albies, Brave. Damn, I still have two boxes left. And I might throw the Knicks in there. What do the Knicks have? They probably have like fucking Willis Reed and all types of fucking people. Doug McDermott, eh. Frank Nelakina, nice. They got Walt Frazier. They do have Willis Reed. Oh, shit. I was talking shit, and they actually have Willis Reed in there. Nice. I mean, I'm a fucking basketball nerd, so, like, all these old school Hall of Famers, that shit's fucking awesome to me. Damn, Nick's got a nice checklist, man. What? Yo, Tomas, forget everything I said. Nuggets have Allen Iverson autographs. You know what? I forget. People don't care about AI like I do. If Dude, fucking Allen Iverson autographs for the Nuggets and the Sixers? Oh, damn. And they have Dikembe Mutombo, too. Dude, Nuggets. Take the heat off the list. I love the heat, but take them off. Blazers, Knicks, Nuggets. Without me even have to look at the rest of the checklist. To 500 Max Scherzer Nationals. These all goes to the Mets. American Pride. That will be randomed. Number to 999. Patrick Raby. Well, he must have got picked on a, a couple times with that name. Patrick has rabies. Shut up. Why do they keep doing... Why do they do this to me? They just want to fuck with me, I think. I want to talk to the people over at Donruss and Panini. Even though it's Panini, but, you know, whatever. Got two boxes left. Man, Nuggets got AI Dikembe. Gary Harris is nice. Jamal Murray's nice. Nurkic is nice. Do they have the Joker in this thing, too? They do? They have some Jokers, but they're only... Oh, no, they do! Oh, dude, Nuggets are nice, man. Nuggets are nice. Pacers don't have any Oladipo autographs. That's, that's disappointing. What about the Pelicans? Dude, Pelicans have Anthony Davis autographs. Oh, damn! Frank Jackson, solid rookie. Hasn't gotten any playing time, but he was nice in college. Are the Pistons still up there? They got Andre Drummond, Dennis Rodman, Grant Hill, Joe Dumars, Luke Kennard, Reggie Jackson as well. Pistons are solid. Raptors, the only auto is Jonas Valanciunas. OG Ananobi. Vince Carter has throwback relics in there for the Raptors. Okay. Rockets have autos for Eric Gordon. And that's about it. What up, two-card arsenal? Spurs are gone. What about the T-Wolves? What do they got? they have any Kevin Garnett autographs? That'd be sick. Andrew Wiggins autographs. Isaiah Ryder. George Uding. Uh, Justin Patton. Chris, uh, Chris Dunn and Lance Stevenson, but patches. If they had any Carl Anthony Towns autos or Jimmy Butler's, Timberwolves would have been sick. Warriors have Kevin Durant autographs? Oh, but they're gone already. Warriors are already gone already. Wizards, Bradley Beal. Well, no, they don't have Bradley Beal autos. They have Chris McCullough and Kelly Oubre. Uh, that's why they're 19 bucks. How's everything with you, Two Card Arsenal? So, just going off the, the, the very little bit that i seen... Nuggets Blazers for show. And low key the Pelicans, man, for that Anthony Davis. Warriors, man. KD, Rick Barry, too. And the fucking case hit the Zaza Pachulia auto relics. Damn. Ch checklist is pretty loaded.
box number seven here. This would have took, uh, you know, this wouldn't have took as long. I'd probably be done by now if I wasn't so fucking donkey brained and all over the place. Trying to do multiple things at once. How are you, two card arsenal? Long time no see. I'm gonna be honest with you, to, uh, two card arsenal. The party's on YouTube, man. I don't really get that many people watching on Breakers, man. Most people really just come and hang out on YouTube. Most of the people's on Breakers just just came over to, to YouTube. Breakers be be acting up way too too often. Are you really Breaker Addiction? You got like you took a screenshot of it or something? Uh, no, Dylan Smith. Select Basketball got pushed back. The release date is Friday, March 9th. I will not... Uh, I'm going to receive those cases in the morning. So that break is not happening tonight. It's going to happen tomorrow. I'm going to email everybody in the break. And let them know that it's going to happen tomorrow at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. To Car Arsenal, you and me are... Peace, two peas in a pod, bro. Cause I'm I'm the same way. I don't I don't mind being the lone wolf. No problem, Dylan. I apologize, man. Thank you for for being understanding. And you know, it's gonna be hot fire tomorrow. Are you for real, Breaker Addiction? Oh, dude, dude, sell that shit ASAP. Fat Flounders, what do you mean by that? Two Card Arsenal, how the hell you been, man? I don't see you that often anymore, dude. I don't know what a Fat Flounder is. I don't know what that is. But, dude, if you if you got an offer for $1,100 for that Mahomes that I just pulled, you need to sell that shit, like, yesterday. You should have asked that guy, do you want a hand job with, those, with, with, with that Mahomes? I know I would have. Shit. Chasing that Skrilla. Ain't that the truth. To 25 Ahmed Rosario Mets. You been getting into any breaks at all? Uh, two card arsenal? Any Anything nice? Anything you want to share? Mike Piazza to 199. Oh, obviously he's a Met. Oh, gotcha breaker. Gotcha, gotcha. Alex Dickerson of the Padres with a patch. The Mahomes you got earlier, what what was it numbered to? To 249, Corey Seager, Dodgers. To 500, Tony Gwynn, Padres. Number to 25, nice. Was it like, was it an insert? What was it? Give me deets, give me deets. Was it one of those rookie tickets? Was it a, the rookie of the year contender? What, 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 what's the deal? Here we go. Another autograph for him. For the Braves, Max Fried. The auto. Ah, the rookie ticket. On card, right? I think all rookie tickets are on card. I could be wrong on that. Well, it was numbered to 25, but what was the... Was it like jersey number? I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to get more info. Been a minute, huh, two-card arsenal. 
Are you eyeing anything? You got your eye on anything? Jose Ramirez to 999 Indians. Lately, with this baseball stuff, everybody's just been going nuts over Otani's, man. His base autographs are selling for more than $800 on average, regardless of the product. It's, it's stupid. Ryan McMahon, Rockies. I mean, I, I do remember. I think you did you post? Hold on. Yeah, you did post the link of it earlier. I was like, what? 14 to 25. Ooh, close to the jersey number. You know, because apparently people care about that. I think he rocks the number 15. Yeah. Let me get a top loader. Ryan McMahon of the Rockies autograph. Yeah, the Angels pitchers. Uh, Shohei Ata uh, Otani. That guy's, his dude, his base autographs are selling for stupid money. His base cards in Heritage are selling for like two, three hundred dollars. Obviously, depending on the condition and, and etc. But it's it's been insane for that guy. Yeah, they're calling him the Japanese Babe Ruth, two card arsenal. Eric Hosmer, uh, Royals, and I don't know shit about baseball. I'm not even gonna pretend to know. And I was like, well, why are they calling him the Babe Ruth? He's not even like a big dude. I didn't even know that Babe Ruth started his career as a pitcher or was a pitcher and a hitter. So that's why they call him that. To 349, Buster Posey, Giants. The Japanese Babe Ruth, Shohei Otani. I don't know how he's been doing as far as the, the spring training. Because I don't watch spring training. But I am going to be watching like the regular season. I got my eye on the Marlins. I want to see what the Jeter group is, is going to do with, with my team. Tony Gwynn to 189 Padres. And jails up my spine every time I need one look at you. To 299 Juan Marichal or Marichal Giants. Marlins on that three to five year plan B. <laughs> I, I just I'm just curious to see are they gonna be competitive are they gonna just straight up tank like that and I really I just need to get my baseball knowledge up. John Olson, American Pride tonight. And I'm, you know I'm tired of people coming in talking baseball, and I'm just there sitting like with with my thumb up my butt like hmm yeah mm -hmm. oh yeah you're right mm -hmm. oh yeah hell of a game. You know I want to be able to put some input. You know at least if it's football or basketball I can talk. Because I know what's up with football and basketball. You know what I mean? But when people start talking baseball, then I just shut the fuck up. Because I don't, I don't know anything. So that needs to change. ASAP. The Astros are going to dominate again. What about the Yankees, man? They pretty much jacked Giancarlo Stanton from us. Added him to the, to, to the fucking to, to, to judge's court. Astros got better pitching this year. That's the one thing I know about baseball. And probably the only thing I know about baseball. Is uh, it's all about pitching. All about pitching. Especially in the majors. In the majors, everybody can hit. And everybody can hit in the majors. That's why you're in the majors. But it's all about that pitching, dog. That's the very little bit I know about baseball. From when I actually used to play baseball. And I remember my coaches talking hella shit. And that's one thing they, they always used to, you know, put in my head. It's like, oh, you know, you want to make it to the majors? You better hit that ball. What up, T-Shark?
Marlins are just like, I don't know, man. They're, uh, they're, they are, they're interesting. They're an interesting team. What can I say? The only team in Major League Baseball history to have only been in the playoffs twice and win the World Series twice. We're two for two. That's a pretty cool stat. I like that. I mean, we've only been a team for like 30, 40 years now. I think we I think we became a team in like 88, 89, around the same time as the Heat, which means we've only been a franchise for 30, 35 years. And we have two World Series championships already. You know, there's there's teams out there that have been around for fucking forever. And they don't have shit. Uh, contenders optic two card arsenal I do not not football or basketball for that man yeah you see Tomas like I hate to tell you but I've already witnessed two World Series championships as far as the Marlins are concerned I've seen greatness already twice over now I need to see the Dolphins do it at least once uh, can, I, I don't, two-card arsenal. I don't have any of it. I don't have any of it. Only personals I have are Donruss Baseball and Heritage Baseball. Well, basically, two-card arsenal, what I have in the store. You know, I know you're used to me being, like, sneaky and having things that I'm holding. I've been selling so much shit, dude, that I can't even afford to do that anymore. I throw everything in the store now. And uh, what I have is in the store, dude. <laughs> Sorry, man. 98. Who won it in 98? I know Marlins won it in 97. I think the Braves won it in 98. Or maybe the D-backs? I don't remember. I know for a fact Marlins won it in 97. And we won it in 2003. I know that. Back when I really used to follow baseball. After the 2003 season, when we got rid of Josh Beckett and damn near the whole team, I was like, "Well, fuck this. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not doing this shit again." I'm getting tired of getting my, my heart broken. I'm a Dolphin fan and a Marlin fan. No, one's gotta go. I stuck with the Dolphins. <laughs> uh, Altuve to 349 Astros. Oh, it was Padres Yankees in '98? We beat the Indians in 97. We beat the Yankees in 2003. Got a blank for Gerald Dempsey Posey. The blank cards are pretty nice. The blank back. Pretty. A little rare. I think they're like about one or two per case. Something like that. I don't know. But they are short prints. How do you think the Padres are going to do this year, Tomas? For the Dodgers, Clayton Kershaw, and Corey Seager, number 299. It might be a Dodgers-Astros rematch. That would be nice. They had a really good series. That was a really good series. It was, it was back and forth, but I think the Dodgers kind of choked that one away. But kudos to the Astros, man. They they took it, too. They straight up took it. May Williamson, Giants. Dude, I remember those Braves teams, man. Back in the day, dude, that's when I actually used to follow the fucking, like, baseball. And the Braves used to win our division year in, year out, and they would just dominate. Yeah, those those Braves teams were really good. Daniel Robertson to 99, Rays. Yeah, man. Houston representing, dude. Miguel Cabrera to 500 for the Tigers. And that's awesome for the city, man. Especially, you know, what they went through last year with the hurricane and all that other bullshit. It's, it's awesome. You know, sports is a nice way to... Uh, not only bring people together, but, you know, take your mind off of, of, of the troubles you're going through in life. So, it, it's it's awesome to, to see that the the Astros could pull it through for four of them. 
But two card Arsenal. I'm not sure if you're a Rockets fan or not, but I hate to break it to you. Rockets are not going to win a championship this year. They're going to have a really good season. They might make it to the Western Conference Final, but they cannot beat the Warriors. Sorry. As long as James Harden continues to play zero defense, they are not going to win. As long as they continue to depend on the three ball, <laughs> they are not going to win. Cody Bellinger to 999 da uh, uh, Dodgers. Texans are going to be nice next year. Texans are going to be nice next year. Oh, let's talk some basketball then, baby. As far as matchups are concerned, I agree. The matchups do do they're they're pretty even as far as the matchups. But let let's go down the start. You know, let me finish this thing first, two quarter. We're gonna talk some shit. Four to five, Kyle Schwarber, Cubs. Let's go down the line. Stephen Curry or Chris Paul. Stephen Curry all day. To me, Chris Paul's a tad overrated. Trevor Ariza cannot guard Kevin Durant. I mean he can, but he's not no. No. KD will still put up 30 points easy on him. Curry can definitely guard Paul. Well, no, he really can't. But Paul can't guard Curry either. He's still looking for his ankles. Let's see. What else? Kevin Durant over Trevor Ariza. Uh, Clay Thompson can't stop Harden, and Harden can't stop anybody. So that's... that. Harden can't stop anybody. Ahmed Rosario to 99. But see, I'm glad you... See, okay, so that's how I know. You know your basketball two-card arsenal. You know your shit, obviously. I, I've learned that in, in this little, little exchange we've had. Dude, if LeBron goes to Philly, they're going to need to make a lot of moves. I think... I, I don't think it's going to be a good move, Andrew. I mean, they, they already have Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons is LeBron 2.0. Uh... So I think if, if LeBron goes to Philly, it's, it's going to really fuck up their, what they got going on out there, man. I don't think it would be a good move for, for, Le, for either parties. You know, LeBron going to, to, to Sixers is going to stunt everyone's growth and development because he, deba he demands the ball so damn much. And that you got to surround you got to surround him with shooters, man. You got to surround LeBron with shooters. If he should go anywhere, yeah, LeBron can play with anybody. I, I agree, completely agree. But it's the young, it's the young ones that I'm t I'm talking about. LeBron needs shooters. Think about it. Think about any time LeBron has. First, okay, we're talking basketball. Let me finish this. Uh, there's a few things we need to random here. Uh, the main one, well, one of them anyway, is these cards. I I found a couple of them. I'm sure I passed way more, but you'll notice they only have two teams on them. There's a team on the left and a team on the right. So how are we going to figure that out? Well, on the back of the card, there's a team on top and a team on the bottom. All right? So we're going to random it that way. If I get an odd number, it goes to the top team. If I get an even number, it goes to the bottom team. Odd top, even bottom. Odd top, even bottom. Good luck. The number four, that's even. So it's going to the bottom team. So this one goes to Cardinals, Reds, Cubs, Royals. Let me make a note of that. Um, two team inserts. Uh, bottom team on back of card and we got to random these American pride cards we don't have a USA spot but we're going to random these you think the Celtics are going to represent the East in the finals this season I don't know man it, it really depends on the seeding and the matchups uh, I don't think anybody wants to see the Sixers in the playoffs really Sixers are going to be a tough out. If the Celtics play this, like, for example, let's say the Celtics win the second the second seed 
and Sixers are in the seventh seed, I got the Sixers in that. Straight up. Straight up. Nobody, dude, nobody wants to see the Sixers in the playoffs in the East. Not even LeBron and them boys. The Sixers are a scary team, bro. They really are. They're young, dumb, full of cum. That's what makes them so scary. Is that they don't know what they're capable of. And, and man, Ben Simmons is... <sighs> ben Simmons is a fucking problem. And and I'm not not, not even not even mentioning Joel Embiid. You think they're gonna wet the bed? Yeah, nobody can guard Kyrie, but you know what I would do with with him? Let me finish this. So we're gonna go. How many times are we gonna go in the randoms? We're gonna go five times in the randoms. Top team wins this right here. Good luck for the USA team spot. Going five times. Blammo. Five times. Going to the Reds. So these go to Reds. Yeah, nobody could guard Kyrie, but you know what I would do with Kyrie? This is this is how I would defend the Celtics. Let Kyrie get as many buckets as he as, as he wants, but shut everybody else down. Stay home on all the shooters and let Kyrie do what Kyrie does. If he wants to put up a hundred points by his damn self, that's fine. But shut everybody else down. It's going to the Reds. The USA cards will go to the Reds. And to recap this thing. You gonna recap the autos? Because that's all we care about. Ahmed Rosario, Mets. Ryan McMahon, Rockies. Fried, Braves. Albies, Braves. Crawford, Phillies. Robertson, Rays, Bregman Astros, that's sick. Another fried for the Braves. Maranta, Giants, Hayes, Orioles. Oh, I forgot. We got a random this one, too. We got Lou Brock of the Cardinals and Ricky Henderson on the back. And uh, for this one, we're going to roll the die, too. So if I get an odd number card, an odd number... It's going to go to the front card, which this is the front, and this is the back. So this is the odd side. That's the even side. Good luck. What did I say? Before I show the number. What did I say? Weird. Hearing myself. Five times going to the Reds. I, I forgot what I said was odd or even. <laughs> yeah, nobody could guard Kyrie, but you know what I would do with Kyrie? Shut this up. Is, this is Shut up. What we care about. Rosario, Mets. And on this one, too. We got Lou Brock on the Cardinals and Ricky Henderson on the back. And uh, for this one, we're gonna roll the die too. I already got the die roll. So if I get an odd number card, an odd number, it's gonna go to the front card. Odd front. Which this is the front, and this is the back. Even back. So this is the odd side. See, that's I, the even side. I did that all backwards. So odd was the front. I'm gonna roll the die again. Odd front. Even back. Odd front, even back. I should have just redid it. Another even number. Just so you know, the first time it was an 8. So I was going to the team on the back. The A's. Congrats. Let me write a note on that. Blam. And a whammy. Which I believe is the case hit, one per case. Whammy Rice Hoskins for the Phillies. Very nice. And that was the break, y'all. 2018 Donruss Baseball. 
Half case break number two, eBay style. Thank you very much, guys. We'll get that out.